So I'm John Manson, I'm the city engineer. Um, I started at Langford just over two years ago. Uh, my background, I've worked virtually all over BC. I've worked in private enterprises as well as for governments. I've the land development engineer in Surrey, uh, instance in local township and the city of Langley in various positions there, and also done consulting work in, in Kamloops, and I'm all in Comox, so I've kind of wandered around the province. Here I am at Langford. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the engineering aspects of, uh, of Langford. And again, I've only been here for two years, so I, I'm not responsible for a lot of the things that are moving them forward. Yeah. Um, I guess engineering is typically where the rubber hits the road. Uh, the planners have the vision and the engineers trying to figure out whether we can make it work. Um, we try our best to get sort of the differences in our approaches behind us. We, we do a lot of problem solving, we do a lot of debates, and it's, it's one of the things that makes this place a really interesting place to work, because we do we do have differences of opinion in some areas, and we do debate this stuff, some, some internally, and some with the development community, because uh, a lot of things that we talk about when we're talking risk, it, it tends to land in the engineering department, and we often end up with the, with the 5% or the 10% of the problems that we, we have to adjust as we move along. So it can create some very interesting dynamics. <coughs> and of course, um, I'm also a proving officer, so I'm the one who has to actually sign the plans that come out on the edge and we're not quite sure whether they're going to work or not. So I guess engineering, we're kind of Jekyll and Hyde. Um, we're, to a large extent, we're the regulator, we're the subdivision bylaws, this is the minimum width of roads, so make sure you have the parking. But we also, we want to follow Langford's vision and help create this, this environment where we look to new ideas and, and we're prepared to take the odd risk to move forward and, and try a few things. And I'll show you some examples. We work ourselves along here. So really for us, it ends up as kind of a creative cycle that we work through. Um, ideas and concepts, um, I'm going to put it right out there. One of, the, uh, one of the major places we get ideas and concepts from our mayor. Um, Stu's been with us right from virtually from the very beginning. And usually if two weeks go by and we haven't got a new idea that we have to flesh out for Stu, it's uh, something wrong. We're wondering how, if he's sick or something because they, <laughs> they come fast and furious. I think you had an assignment from the UBCM, you probably get three or four. Let's do this or let's do that. And it, it certainly makes for a very dynamic uh, environment. We also have a development community that's open to new ideas, uh, goes to seminars, goes to other communities and comes back with, with new concepts. So we're, we're constantly being asked you know, to look at new ideas and actually question the foundations of a lot of the engineering bits, particularly things like that subdivision bylaw that sets the minimum road standards. Uh, nothing's a given here, basically. Everything's up for grabs. And, we, and it's interesting because I've been in this business for 15 years and never really had to stop and justify all the bits and pieces that are in those bylaws. And we're doing that on a fairly regular basis here. So kind of the process we go through, I think it's not unusual, it's uh, rocket science to anybody. Um, we come up with an idea, we typically start with what are we doing today and, and what is working today. So we kind of review our traditional approach to these kinds of things. We sit down and brainstorm and think about how we might do things better. Uh, this can be done often, as I mentioned, in our internal staff reviews, often to bring the development community involved. Probably the best example for West Hills, we've been meeting with West Hills on a weekly basis, all staff, um, over the last almost a year now, where we go through ideas and, and, uh, and brainstorm, basically. So that, that, that's a central part of how West Hills is moving forward. We will often suggest pilot projects when we're looking at something new, where maybe the risk is a little bit higher than we're not sure. We're not sure about the risk or what the consequences will be. We might not be sure what the public reaction will be, so we'll try some pilot projects on for size. Sometimes we'll just uh, we'll, we'll try to see what we want. And that's told us, I guess, a large example of some new ideas that we're trying in kind of that single development mode. Typically, we'll get started on it. If it's looking like it's a good idea, it doesn't take us long before we integrate it into our day to day uh, processes and whatever all the changes that we have to make. And hopefully, when we have time, we monitor what we're doing. Uh, often, we get feedback to the public. Um, on some projects, we'll hire a consultant to monitor our new idea and make sure it's working OK. Um, and we'll usually adjust so it becomes a circular, a circular concept where if it's not quite working right, if we're on the 5% side rather than the 95%, then we'll go through the loop. We're not afraid uh, to make the odd 
boo-boo and, and we just keep it 